Hello, friends and family. It's another gorgeous day in Alaska. And I wanted to have a little conversation with you about how crazy Alaskans are. Not really, but yes. Did you know that Alaskans wear shorts in wintertime? It's true. They absolutely do. So today, I am outside. It is 39 degrees, according to weather.com. And I decided since it's a gorgeous day outside and the sun is shining and the birds are singing and the planes are outside, I decided to come out in a sleeveless shirt. Ooh. And you know what? It's not cold. That's right, you heard me. 40 degrees in Alaska, 39 degrees, whatever. 40 degrees in Alaska is a lot different than 40 degrees in the lower 48. So yes, Alaskans wear shorts in the winter. There, I said it. It's true. And if you ever come up here in the winter time, you will see this phenomenon all over. And you think to yourself, oh my gosh, they must be so cold, they must be so cold. You know why? Because people heat their homes so that it stays like 80 degrees all the time. <laughs> well, a lot of people do anyway. And not everyone really wears shorts, but it is a phenomenon and you do see it quite often. So, I decided to come out here and soak up lots of vitamin C and um, share something else with you. You know, because we're stuck in quarantine and so I'm trying to think of things to entertain you with. Mostly entertain myself with. <laughs> I'll be truthful. Um, so some of you have seen um, Alan's Facebook post about our cabin having fangs, right? And every day I'm thinking to myself, today's going to be the day it's going to slide off the roof. It's going to slide off the roof. All the ice and snow is going to slide off the roof, right? Would you believe it still has not fallen off the roof? Let me show you a picture of what is going on. <laughs> Come on, Annie. All right. Do you see where the roof line is and how far the ice is hanging over? Do you see that? Now, I'm out walking Annie, so I'm trying to keep her away from, from this. Because when it does decide to go down, it's going to scare the daylights out of her, I'm sure. And I have a feeling that if we are inside, actually, it may feel slightly like an earthquake when it comes down. <laughs> Let me get a better angle of this for you. There we go. And you can see we've got icicles. And it's dripping. Now let me get another angle for you so you can see just how much it has slid down the side of the roof line there. See where the snow starts? See where the roof line is? Yeah, that's how much is hanging down the back there. Now you must be thinking, Raina, you must be extremely bored to be showing us this. And no, it's just the little things in life that get me excited. It's the truth. I always find little ways to entertain myself. So anyway, <laughs> just want to know what you guys are all doing to entertain yourself in this time of uh, uncertainty and, you know, lots of time with your family or roommates or wherever you are. Um, what are you guys all up to? What kind of things are you doing to stay busy? Uh, let me know in the comments below. So I'll be honest with you guys. I don't really feel like a whole lot has changed for us here. Um, most days we are here doing various things. Alan of course is still working on the building 
and I stay busy by um, playing with Annie and helping Ellen where I can and uh, making jewelry. So I'm working on a couple of new pieces and I will leave a link to my Facebook page below. Um, so if you guys want to check out what I've been working on, you're uh, able to do so. And so yeah, I stay busy and um, you know, the only thing that's really changed for us is, you know, usually we're going to see friends and family and um, we're not obviously doing that right now. Um, Whereas before we would see them, you know, once a week or once every other week or so. So it's, I mean, it's not that big a deal. I mean, I encourage you guys, you may think of this as, oh my gosh, I can't see my family, I can't spend time with my friends. But you know, I have to tell you, you can. Um, so there are wonderful applications on the internet, Skype, you know, of course you can use FaceTime. Um, my realtor back in Texas, his daughter was playing... Uh, Monopoly with one of her friends through some video chat and they both had their boards set up and were were playing together and you know so there's ways to kind of get around being isolated um, you know social distancing I mean we're all social obviously you're here you're watching YouTube we're all social to some degree physical contact yes that's definitely something to be missed but I encourage you you know not to get down about this it's going to pass and you know we need to strengthen our families and our friendships and we can do this even though they may not physically be in our presence so I encourage all of you to you know, maybe find one of those video chat um, applications or maybe start a YouTube channel and share it with your friends and family so everybody can see, you know, what's going on during your day and how are you entertaining yourself and still making people a part of your life and showing them what's going on. So that's, you know, kind of our purpose in doing this YouTube channel is we are far away from a lot of our friends and family and we want to stay in touch with you guys and let you know how much we love you and care about you and want to include you in our lives and this is kind of our way of doing that. So I hope you all are doing well and um, let me know in the comments how you guys are entertaining yourselves during all of this. And I will see you all very soon via the internet or FaceTime. And until then, take care and God bless.